Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of the Buggle Driver Spy and uh, Common Rider Conical Grashat. Grashat? Gashat? What's a Grashat? That's like a Gashat that transforms you into like a lawn care professional. Anyway, from Common Rider X Aid. So this is, if you can't tell, is a repaint of the original Buggle Driver, um, which was released on its own, and then as a set with like belt components and stuff for Dangerous Zombie. But even though it's a repaint, it actually has new noises, and you obviously get a new gash hat. Um, this was first seen in the series, I don't remember if I just mentioned it, but uh, by uh, Kamen Rider Poppy, who used it with Tokomeki Crisis, and then it was used now by Kronos. And then, of course, the Kamen Rider Chronicle Gashat, which is not only used by Kronos, is also used for the Kamen Rider Chronicle game. But it's kind of weird, uh, not weird that it comes with this, but it, uh, Tokumeki Crisis is on its own as, as a release. And even though I really don't care about that one because I'm not a fan of Poppy or the sounds that that one makes as much as this, I think it would have been neat for this to include too. It probably would have cost more, but honestly, it just seems weird to debut this with Poppy and then not have hers come with it. It should have been both, in my opinion. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, for what it comes with, obviously, you have the main driver here. On the back is the little driver piece that not only allows it to become a belt, but activates its driver noises. You have a little handle switch for its weapon modes, which we'll get to. And then I was a complete lazy uh, just this time, and these are the straps that you just, you know, loop around and you can make it a belt. You've seen it in all the other reviews. Honestly, since they don't fit me, because it only fits you if you're really skinny or a small child, the, I just usually store them anyway, so I thought it was easier just to store them that way, and you know how it is. Like, it's not like people are like, man, this review's crap, I didn't even want to see the sound, I just wanted to see that belt loop. Anyway, uh, so to get started, I think I'll just start with the Gashat on its own. Um, the Common Rider Chronicle Grashat's Grashat, there we go again, guys, is um, is actually probably one of my favorites, if not my favorite Gashat. I really like the design of it because I like the color scheme of the black and green. It's very techy and whatnot, but I just really like the sounds on it, uh, specifically like the voice and stuff that says Common Rider Chronicle, which is said when he activates it for before transformation, and also what's said for the uh, the players. I like how it's locked in at the second noise, right when I hype up the other one. Well, that's the second noise. Game start. Game over. There we go. So yeah, that's the noise you'll get, and then the one we started with was the second one, and then you'll get game start, and then either, I think we got game over, and then you'll get game clear for like the winning one. Here's a little back design, we'll be able to see it clearer once we uh, have it in the, the driver and stuff. But let's try to get the game over noise. There we go. So yeah, you basically get those noises for that. Like I said, I just really like this Gashat's noises. I like the, the awesome sounding voice of it. Um, so just to get a look at it itself, like I said, it's just a repaint done in silver in this sort of neon green blue color. Um, I'm not a fan of the look of it, to be honest, which is funny because I think I like this more than the original just based on sounds, but um, I don't care for the color scheme. I think especially the gray makes it look cheap. It looks a little bit better in the show, obviously, but it's like, I would love the dark purple and black color scheme. I guess it's not dark purple, but purple and, and black color scheme from the original with the sounds of this one. I like the sounds on the other one too. It's just, yeah, th this one just doesn't look quite as good. And like I said, Here's the little thing on the back. We'll go ahead and take it off now so we can just show the very base sounds of when you turn it on. So turn it on right here. German. And then uh, when you just press these, you get stage select noises. And I think I'm going to start with this noises, or these noises, just because that's usually what you default to. We'll put the gash right in, it'll make those noises just to make you feel complete. All right, so we'll do the little gun mode first. I might mess up the direction because I am a genius. There we go. I keep wanting to press this like instinctually because I'm thinking, oh yeah, like the the size of blaster. So there you get some sort of attack sounds. This I think is the same one that's in the other one, and it reminds me of like if this were to shoot little like springs that are inside like mechanical pencils. So press this. I don't remember. 
Cross it. Okay, that just does the one thing. Okay, there was, I don't, I know that you can press both down when it's in belt mode, but I feel like there was one in one of these modes where it resets with that, but, whatevs. Okay, so let's switch it around. So this is the little saw mode. Gives you saw attack effects. Okay, so now I'm going to take this out, I'm going to take the gash out out too, and in case you didn't know, the button here releases it. So then press this on the back, wait, am I going to... there we go, you get the activation noises, and then when you press this, you get a jingle as per usual with these, and honestly, I'm going to, that wasn't what I was going to say, but honestly, I'm going to reset this, so, but um, it's probably my favorite jingle of the x ones, I just really like it, like, I was just about to say it's super video gamey, but that's the whole show. But like, just in particular, I really like this one. I'm not entirely sure why, but I just do. I'm gonna press this in uh, to activate the transformation noises. And there you have that. And I'm not sure if it was just mine, but uh, I did have some problems when I was running through this before the review of like, sometimes I would press this and no matter how much I thought I got it, it would just play the like overlay sounds from the driver and not touch the gas at. And I, for a second I thought, oh, this has two modes for some reason, but it doesn't. Okay, so then you get your attack noises. If you press this again, it'll just activate the jingle again. And you can just jam out. But so that activates the attack cue. If you press this again... Then you can press this one to also get a crusade. And then what's cool is when you hold these two down, you get those pause sound effects from his power right along with some clock noises. And then restart. So that's pretty neat. Okay, I believe that's about the end. I might have forgot something, but that covers it mostly. I'm now just going to show really quickly uh, the Chron Chronicle Gashat. I didn't say Grashat this time. And the X-Aids uh, standard gamer driver and then uh, the original Buggle. And then I think the attack slot. So let's go ahead and start with the gamer driver because that's what I said. So let's let's do this. Making sure. Alright, there you have that. I also really like the light up effects on this with the green. I don't know, just the green hits me for some reason. Okay, so now the the attack slot here. This really blends in with that, I just noticed that. It's a slightly different color, but like it blends in really nicely. Alright, I don't remember if I have dangerous zombies in here. I was just trying to remember if I had dangerous zombie in here already or not. 
So let me blank that out. Oh, I don't think this is on. Yes, we get it. That this like this one sounds like a the new one sounds like a professional evil villain, and this one sounds like his like grunt that's like half ape. That actually looks pretty cool. Like, I think that looks neat. But yeah, like, I really like both of these. In fact, because you have both functionality of the driver and the gas shot, I think I like them a little bit more than the standard driver, which is just a shell. Um, but yeah, I really do like this thing. I honestly can't remember what I said in this review of this, and there's a chance this might come out first, so I have something semi-relevant out, since my X8 reviews are super late. But regardless, I really do like this. In fact, the only thing I don't care for about it is the color scheme. Like I said, I think this color scheme on this looks a lot cooler, but I really dig this, the sounds from both the Gashat and the driver. I just really like it. Um, and I, uh, just like with the first set, I like the versatility of having like the driver and all that and then being able to do the bug visor stuff like the original, even though, you know, this was after they had it just as a bug visor thing. But anyway, my point is, is if you're a fan of this stuff, I can recommend it. I think it's really fun. It's probably one of my more favorite items in my X8 collection just solely because I like the sounds. But anyway, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Dawson Ryder, signing out.